Hey everyone, I'm Sarah and welcome to Friday Fun with Sarah. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make some facial features for your pumpkins. You can put them on a t-shirt, you can put them on a hat, you can put them on a bag, a blanket, a pillow, or even a real or a plastic pumpkin. These are fun, fun features. So this is our pumpkin beanie hat that we just made. And I added the silly face to it. We have two different styles you can make. You can make these crazy fun eyes with a yellow nose and a big smile with these edges, or you can make your typical jack-o'-lantern face. It's super fun to do. And like I said, you can put it on anything you want to. These are stitched up and sewn on. These are glued on with Aileen's glue. You can also use hot glue if you want to. The fun of today is making silly, funny pumpkins. Because you don't have to use these colors. You could make green eyes and blue pupils. You could make a purple nose and a big red smile. It's up to you and what you've got in your yarn stash. And again, you can add these facial features to real pumpkins, plastic pumpkins, shirts, bags, pillows, or maybe just stick them in your window. It would be super fun just to see what you come up with. And so that's what we're gonna do today is make some fun facial features and show you how you can add them to a shirt and a hat or whatever you want to. Now you can find these crochet patterns with lots of pictures on the same blog that the hat pattern is. And I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video, just like I always do. So let's have some fun. <laughs> So today I'm going to show you two different faces that you can make for whatever you want to put it on. I've got my hat here. I've got a, a shirt here. And you can put this, like I said, the faces on anything that you want to. A bag, a scarf, a actual stuffed pumpkin, an actual real pumpkin, or a plastic pumpkin, a shirt, a coat, a hoodie, whatever that you want that you want to add a silly face to and make it look like a pumpkin as well. So I've got two different faces that I'm gonna show you how to make. Now, I have this glue sitting here because when I add a crochet face to a fabric like a t-shirt, I'll use a fabric glue. And this is Aileen's Fabric Glue No Sew, and it works really well. But when I add a face to something that's crochet or knit or like a sweater, I'm going to sew it in place. So I'm only going to use the fabric glue on fabrics like t-shirt or cotton that I'm going to wear or, or even if it's a bag that's canvas, I'll go ahead and glue that on. But that is something that um, is a preference for you. Okay? Now I've gotten in my stash and I've got some different colors of yarn here. I've got some black some white and some yellow. I'm going to make the traditional jack-o'-lantern with the triangles in black and a black smile. And then I'm also going to make the silly face that has the big eyes in white and the nose in a bright yellow and then of course and also a black smile. Of course you could do a red smile if you want to. The yarn choices and colors are completely up to you. You could do all the triangles in the yellow to make it appear that it's lit from the inside. So just get in your yarn stash. These are all medium weight number four acrylic yarns. And one thing I do suggest if you're going to put it on a shirt make sure you've washed your shirt first so we don't get different shrinking from the crochet to the shirt, all right? Now I've got some buttons here because the white eyes, we're gonna add some buttons. And a lot of times I'll use the same, but sometimes I'll use like, this is a brown that's a little bigger than maybe these green. And so you need two buttons, they don't have to match, they don't even have to be the same size. Because remember, we want it to look silly. Whatever you wanna use, whatever kind of buttons, make sure that your needle can get through those buttonholes with yarn, okay? And so you'll need two buttons of your choice. You'll need a needle for weaving in ends, and if you're putting it onto a 
knit or crochet hat like I am, you'll need a needle to sew those pieces on. And then of course you'll need your scissors. Now all of the things that we're crocheting today, all the pieces of the face, we're going to be using our H hook, which is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. Now, go get in your closet, see if you've got a shirt or a hat, a bag or whatever you wanna put the faces on, and then gather up your scrap yarns in medium weight number four, and we'll get started. To make the traditional jack-o'-lantern face, you're going to need three black triangles. Well, black yarn is a little bit hard to see on video. We also need a yellow triangle for the silly face that we're making, because remember, I'm showing you two different faces. So I've already made the three black triangles. They're made exactly the same as the yellow one. And so I'm going to use the yellow yarn to show you how to make the triangles. It's really, really simple. We're going to begin with our slip knot and we're going to chain two chains, one and two. Now we're going to stitch two single crochets in the second chain from the hook. So one, two. So we'll go in, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through both loops. Then we'll do that again. So we stitch two single crochets in the second chain from the hook. We're going to chain one and turn our work. We're going to stitch two single crochets in each of these two. So one, two, three, and four. So row one had two single crochets, row two has four. Chain one and turn. So now for row three, we're going to stitch one single crochet in each of those four. One, two, three, and four. Chain one and turn. Now we're going to repeat this again. One single crochet in each of those four. One, two, three, and four. Chain one and turn and repeat just one more time. One single crochet in those four single crochets. All right, we're going to chain one, but only this time we're not going to turn. We're going to evenly single crochet up to this first point. And we need to try to stitch in the sides of those stitches and not the holes if we can help it. So we get a nice smooth looking edge. So I'm evenly single crocheting up to the top of this triangle. Trying to stitch in the sides of those stitches and not the holes. All right, so now I'm up at the point. I'm going to stitch two single crochets, one and two. Now we're going to work down this side, trying to stitch nice and evenly in the sides of those stitches and not in the holes. All right, so now I'm to the next corner and I'm going to stitch two single crochets. Okay, this is the top, here's the bottom, and now we're just going to evenly single crochet across the bottom of our triangle. All right, and then we'll stitch a second single crochet in there. And now here's our, here's our triangle if you're going to sew your triangle onto a hat, whether it is the black triangles or the yellow, you're gonna to wanna to leave a long tail of yarn. If you're going to glue them on, you're gonna weave those ends completely in. These three I'm going to be gluing on with my fabric glue onto my shirt so that I have a jack-o'-lantern shirt, okay? And so I don't need those edges for sewing on. But this one is going to be the silly nose on the hat that I'm making. So I'm going to leave a long strand of yarn, about 18 to 20 inches, so I can sew that onto my hat, all right? So let's go ahead and weave that in. So let's put our hook in that next stitch, grab that loop, pull it to the back, and then tie that off. 
That way it looks nice and neat on the front. All right, so the other thing we need to do is weave in our beginning tail of yarn. There we go. And we'll just weave that in going through fibers and stitches and try not to just go through holes. Back and forth. All right, so I'll go ahead and clip that. Now, just so that I clarify, I made three black triangles and this is going to go on my shirt as my eyes and nose as my jack-o-lantern. Okay, and then we'll come back in and make a mouth in just a second. Now the yellow triangle that I made is going to be the nose of my silly pumpkin hat. And so I'm going to use this as my nose. I'm going to make two white eyes with those buttons and then also a big black smile. The next thing we're going to do is do the big black smile so we can put our shirt together first. So the next thing we're going to make is the smiles. Now they're both done exactly the same. This one is going to go on the hat, so I left a long tail of yarn. This one is going to go on the shirt along with the triangle eyes for that jackal lantern look. And so those are all ready to go and ready to be put on the shirt. Now, again, the black yarn is very difficult to see on camera when we're stitching. And so I'm going to make one using this yellow yarn again so you can see how to make that silly smile for our silly hat and shirt. So both of those smiles are made in black yarn. I'm going to make this one in yellow so you can see how to do it. But again, you can do any colors that you would like. Get in your yarn stash and just have some fun. All right, so I've made my slip knot and I'm going to chain 31 chains. I have chained 31 chains. We're going to begin by placing a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So we'll go in, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through both loops. We're going to stitch a single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to stitch a half double crochet in the next five. So yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three loops. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to place 10 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and I want you to take a look at this and we can see how we went from single crochets to half double crochets then to double crochets and now we're going to go back down and stitch one half double crochet in the next five one two three four five and that leaves us with five stitches. So we're gonna stitch one single crochet in those last five. One, two, three, four, and five. So we went five, five, ten, five, and five. So we have 30 stitches. Five singles, five half doubles, 10 doubles, five half doubles and five singles. We're going to chain one and turn. And now all we're going to do is stitch a single crochet in each of the stitches working all the way across this row. One, 
single crochet in each stitch across. I stitched one single crochet in each stitch across. This is the front of it on this side. You can see how it has like a natural little shape there. Now, if you're going to sew this on to your project, you're going to want to cut a long piece of yarn about 24 inches and then tie off. And then you'll use that long piece of yarn to sew it onto your project. If you want to glue it on like I did the black one for the jack-o'-lantern face on the t-shirt, you just cut your yarn and tie that off. And then you'll take your needle and you'll weave in both those ends. All right, let's go ahead and do the jack-o'-lantern face on our orange shirt, and then I'll show you how to make the eyes and add them to our hat. So I have this piece of paper, and what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna put it in between. That way the glue that I'm going to use doesn't seep through the fabric. And another thing I wanted to show you is this is a used shirt. You can see I've got some stains on it, and I'm going to use this face of my jack-o'-lantern to cover those stains. That way I'm reusing a shirt, I'm not throwing it away, and making something fun for Halloween. So the first thing I want to do is just place my pieces. Here's the center of my shirt. Let's get it a little bit straight here so we can see. I'm going to start with my nose and I'm going to put the nose right over that stain. That way it's covered up. All right. And then I'll put my two triangles and you can put them however that you want. And I kind of look at them because they're not all going to be perfectly shaped. And so you want to try to get them perfectly shaped if you can and where you want them placed. All right. And then, of course, the smile. Isn't that fun? All right. I've got my Aileen's glue. I'm going to start with the center one. And I'm just going to glob some around the edges. And this is some pretty thick stuff. All right. Oh, and another thing you can use is your hot glue. So... Aileen's glue is very thick, and if you don't want to use this glue, you can also use hot glue. And I just put it around the edge, like this, kind of dot it in the middle, decide where I want to put it, and then just press it down. Now, Aileen's glue does take a little bit longer to dry than the... Um, that edge off there that's why I got that towel there we want to try to cover those edges but um, Aileen's glue does take just a little bit longer to dry than hot glue and you can use hot glue um, it'll work just fine but that's what you'll do you put your eyes on you'll put your mouth on just take your time like I said put your glue around the edges of whatever you're gluing on And it doesn't take a whole lot of this glue, I will tell you that. And the nice thing about the Aileen's glue is it can go through the wash. All right. And that's kind of nice as well. All right, so I'm going to finish gluing on my pieces. And then I'm going to show you how to make those silly eyes and sew them on to the hat. This is the eye we're going to stitch up for the silly pumpkin hat. Or you can use these eyes on your t-shirt or whatever you're putting your facial features on. It's shaped like an egg. It's super easy to stitch up. When we just change our stitches up here on this last row where we go from singles to halves to doubles to triples and then back down. And then we add a fun button. And I decided to go ahead and go with these kind of limey green, almost an army green button for the eye the pupil of the eye and they're really easy to make and again you need to make two because you need two eyes so we're going to begin by making our slip knot and chaining two now we're going to stitch five single crochets in the second chain from the hook one two three 
four, and five. We'll join to that first single crochet with a slip stitch and chain one. Our chain one does not count as a stitch. Now we'll go right in this first single crochet and stitch two. One, two single crochets. And then we'll stitch two single crochets in each of those single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten single crochets. We'll join to our first single crochet and chain one. And now we're just going to repeat what we just did. We're going to stitch two single crochets in each of those ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, <coughs> seventeen, eighteen, <coughs> 19 and 20. Sorry about clearing my throat there. Now we're going to join to the first single crochet, not the chain one. All right, and then we'll go ahead and chain one. So on our first row, we had five. On our second row, we had 10. And then row three, we have 20 single crochets. Now we're going to form this shape here that makes it look like an egg that forms our silly eyeball. So we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to place two single crochets in the next stitch. Now we're going to place two half double crochets in the next. One, two. Now we'll place two double crochets in the next stitch. Now we're going to stitch in the next stitch two triples. So two wraps on your hook, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the second two, yarn over and go through the third two. And then we'll do that one more time in that same stitch. Two double crochets in the next, one, two, two half double crochets in the next, one, two, and two singles in the next stitch, one in two. And that's what forms that rounded top. So we have two singles, two halves, two doubles, two triples, two doubles, two half double crochets, and two singles. And now we're just going to place one single crochet and each of those remaining stitches are round. All right, now we're going to join to that first single crochet with a slip stitch. We want to make sure we leave a long tail of yarn. We'll go in the next stitch and pull that loop to the back for a nice finished edge. There we go. Now we just need to weave this end in and then sew on our button. And again, you can choose any button that you want. So I've threaded some matching yarn that I made the eyeball out of onto my needle. I'm going to place my button where I want it. And I like to go in first and make the loop. I don't know why I do that. I just think it makes a much more secure 
button. All right. We'll take our crochet hook and pull that yarn to the back so we can tie that into a knot when we're done. And then we'll just grab our button. Now mine's a little bit of a tight fit, so I'm going to have to pull it just a little bit hard. But that's okay. I love these buttons, and I think they're going to be perfect for this hat. All right, so now I'm going to go to the back, and you can put more loops on that if you want to. Mine's pretty snug, so I just put the one, and I'm going to tie this on the back. And now I have two silly eyeballs that are ready for my pumpkin hat. All right, now I need to decide where I want to place my eyes, my nose, and my smile. All right, so here is my nose. And I kind of want my eyes to be kind of wonky. Let's see. Maybe one up higher than the other. <laughs> or maybe like that. <laughs> I, I like making them a little bit wonky. I don't know why. They're just super cute that way. And that way I can put my smile on just a little bit wonky also. And I'm also going to show you how to make the little ends of that smile um, so that it looks a little bit more like a happy smile. All right. So this looks cute to me. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of pin those in place since I'm going to be sewing. And they may not be exactly where I put them when I'm done sewing, but until then, this will give me an idea of how I want to put them. All right, pins are up to you. I just have some on hand all the time. And I like using these big quilty pins on this sort of thing because then I can stick them down in there. All right, see they're just a little bit longer than your basic dressmakers pins all right so i think i'm gonna sew on the nose first and then go from there okay so i'm gonna thread my piece of long yellow yarn on my needle okay i'm with my hand up under here and i'm gonna go down in the hat i'm gonna go across the bottom first and i like to go through the braids and i kind of go forward and then I'll kind of go back. And I think that gives it a nice hold. You don't want to do it so that it's too tight because when you put your hat on, it's going to stretch a little. So you need to keep that in mind also when you're putting on things onto a hat. You want it to be able to stretch a little when you put your hat on, okay? All right, so I'm just going to finish sewing on the nose. Going around those edges. Make sure I'm not sewing through. And one thing I do like to do when I get to the top up here is make sure I get it just a little bit pointy. And so I'm going to kind of go like this and then go over. Um, that will help it hold its shape a little bit. All righty, almost. And I don't do any stitches in the center of the nose. I just go around the edges. And again, I'm going to kind of make sure this edge has a nice point. So I'm going to kind of pull that over just a little. There we go. Then we'll just go underneath and tie that off. And make a few stitches. There we go. So we can take the pin out. The nose is in place. And I, I, just, I just really like the way it looks. It's super silly, super cute. All right, so now let's sew on one of the eyes. And I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. I'm going to go under here. And I'm going, just going to go in and out those I call them braids. They're just the outside loops of our project. And 
And so I'm pretty much just sewing it on the same way I did the nose. I'm just going in a circle, or I should say an oval since it's an oval shaped eye. I'm gonna go and take that pin out since it's in my way. All right, and I'll just keep going around the edge. Okay, so I'm back over here where I started. I'm just gonna go right inside. I don't put any stitches in here, just on the outside edge. You can, if you want to, if you feel more comfortable, you can go down in here and do a couple of stitches around the center of the eye to keep it in place. It, that's totally fine. I just usually don't do that. And then I'm just gonna weave this in, in these stitches underneath. And this is very important that you do this really well, especially if you're gonna uh, toss this into the wash. All right, so there is one of the eyes, and it looks so super silly. I just love it. All right, so I'm gonna sew this one on next. It's gonna be a little cockeyed, and I love that. I sewed that second eye on, and it's totally making me laugh. It is so cute. So the last thing we need to do is the smile. All right, now if you want your smile just to be solid and plain like this, it's adorable, it works perfectly. But I'm going to show you how to add just some edges on it so it looks like it's cracking up, okay? So we're going to begin on this side. I've got my black yarn threaded on here. And so the first thing we're going to do is just go down in, make sure the end of that is attached. And then we're going to make a couple of stitches like that. And I did two of them. And if you'll notice, I went a little farther. All right, then we're just going to stitch across the top of that smile so it stays put. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Remember, we're going in stitches, not holes. If you stitch something like this into a hole, you're going to lose that stitch, okay? Ended up putting three on this one because it just wasn't over far enough. Okay, so there's the end of the smile. Now I'm just going to stitch down the side of this just like I did. I'm going to move that needle if it's poking me. <clears throat> We're going to stitch down the side of this just like we did the eyes going forwards and backwards. all the way across. Now, when I get to the end up here on this side, I usually run out of yarn and I have to add more black yarn, just FYI. I stitched across here, same way we did around the edges of our nose and eye. And I'm gonna add the, sm the edges of the smile on this one. All right, so I'm gonna go under here And you can do two or three stitches, whatever <clears throat> you think looks best, however thick you want that edge of your smile. And you don't have to add that. That's just a little something extra I like to add to make it look just a little bit more silly. So now I'm going to do this side. And then I'll just come right back in here. and start stitching down this side. And you can see I am running out of black yarn. And so I'll go as far as I can and then I'll add some more yarn onto my needle. I stitched it all the way down this way. And now I just need to weave this end in. And then here where I added in more yarn and my silly pumpkin hat will be ready to wear. <laughs> it turned out so amazingly awesome. I cannot wait to pop this pumpkin hat on my head. Okay, so just to clarify, you can use any of these eyes, nose, and smile patterns on anything you want to. Pillows, purses, bags, hats, sweaters, scarves, and even t-shirts. How fun 
and just get in your yarn stash and see what fun, silly faces you can make. <music>